Hello, I'm Jacob and you're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is my first ever sponsored video. I don't, uh, I don't like the idea of doing sponsored videos. However, Patriot Gold Supply reached out to me with an idea for a video that I already wanted to do. So it's a win-win. Now, here's what I gotta talk to you about today. And that is fighting inflation. We are all experiencing hyperinflation right now, right? We're talking about prepper stuff. We're talking to other preppers. We don't have to explain the basics. Every day, I can't tell you how many posts I see. What should I invest in? What do I need to do? How do we prepare? And the answer is always, you have to become ungovernable. Prepping is not about just buying stuff to get you through the week. It's about a lifestyle and a mindset to where if you have prepped perfectly, which none of us have, you can live self-reliant in the modern world. Okay, you don't need anybody else. That is the old, should be the ultimate goal of every prepper. Um, and so everybody wants to talk about the grid down, crap hit the fan, apocalypse, whatever. And they like to argue about what to invest in. Uh, and what you need to understand is that no matter what happens, there's always an economy. We have become used to a relatively stable economy with relatively stably increasing inflation, devaluing of our dollar, but when you pull out a dollar bill, you get whatever the current value of a dollar bill is. That dollar bill is worth less and less every day, and in an emergency, uh, in a national emergency, that dollar could very quickly, I don't need to explain this to you, be worth absolutely nothing. So how do we fight inflation? How do we fight hyperinflation? One way is through silver. Silver always has and always will have value. And the first thing that usually happens when I talk about silver or gold is people talking about food, ammo, water, etc. So imagine with me, you are the perfect prepper and are absolutely ungovernable. You live in the middle of nowhere on a thousand acres, you make your own electricity, you make all of your own food, you make all of your own clothes, um, you do everything, okay? And you have stockpiles that you need, not just for the defense of yourself, but for the training of future generations. I don't mean to go on a tangent on ammo, but it, 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 it's so irritating when people talk about how much ammo should I have because they're thinking like, how much ammo do I need to win a firefight? Well, first off, you need to understand that a combat load of 270 rounds might last you a few minutes in a firefight. So if you're worried about surviving through years of firefights, first off, you need to understand if you're getting a lot of firefights, you're going to die. Second off, what you're stockpiling ammo for is not for firefights. It's for training of future generations. Are you, how are you going to... You've got your thousand round stockpile. How are you going to teach your kids how to shoot? How are you going to hunt? How are you going to do everything else? Okay, let's get off of that. You're the perfect prepper. All the stockpiles, right? But you get into a situation post-disaster where you want to trade. Do you want to trade your ammo? No. Never. Do you want to trade your food? Absolutely not. If you have all of your livestock and they're making milk and you're making milk, yogurt, butter, soap, whatever, trade that, sure. But your stockpiled food, no. There needs to be a currency. Silver and gold will always have value. I have personally invested in mutiny metals quite a bit. Um, you, an artist takes time to make this by hand, okay? So I'm not just paying for the silver bullion value. There's an upside and a downside to that. An upside, if I am charismatic enough, I could potentially upsell my silver 
this isn't just any silver bullion. This is mutiny metals. This is hand poured. You've heard of mutiny metals? Look how freaking cool this is. Double the cost of regular silver. Or, I really need something and nobody cares that it's mutiny metals. They're not even sure if it's real silver and I get nothing. That's a, that's a possibility. The chance that I've taken, the reason that I've taken it is because I enjoy buying it, right? So if I waste my money, say I pay twice what the silver is worth because I enjoy it, that money that I just wasted retained half of its value. Whereas on the contrary, if you're buying booze, cigarettes, junk food, whatever else, you're only killing yourself and wasting your money. So this is the way that I've chosen to waste my money. But there's another way that's even better. Your barter item should be able to be small enough or able to be broken down small enough to buy whatever it is you need. You don't want to give two ounces of silver for a loaf of bread. Okay? And you want something that is irrefutably silver. This is where Patriot Gold Supply comes in. I'm going to do a scroll of their website here. And what they are pushing is fighting inflation, specifically with junk silver. If you didn't know, I accept junk silver as payment. I like junk silver a lot. Coins before 1964 had a set amount of silver in them. It's easy to figure out how much silver. It's easy to figure out what that value is. And each coin is not valuable enough to fake. Nobody out there is going to start cranking out fake 1963 quarters or fake mercury dimes. Especially in such bad condition that they have no collector's value, right? If someone's gonna fake one, they're gonna fake a really nice one that happens to be really rare going for collector's value. They're not gonna go for a mercury dime that has a junk silver value of $2 or less. So you have immediate recognizable authenticity. You have a guaranteed silver amount and an easy bartering method. You have something that is measurable, pocketable, and can be had uh, in any amount that you want. It is probably disaster proof as a currency. I think, you know, these this mutiny metals, this is a little bit of an emotional decision. I really enjoy buying these. They're really fun. If I was going to buy, buy purely for logic and trade purely for logic, I would trade in junk silver. So this is something I want you guys to consider. You can get junk silver easily. You can buy, sell, and trade for junk silver easily. You can find out how much junk silver is worth and what the contents of junk silver is by year and coin very easily. It is something that I recommend you look into. And this is something that will hold value always anywhere in the world because it's easily recognizable, verifiable, and essentially unfakeable. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope that you have a blessed day.